Hey everyone, it's Elwyn Flyer here, and we're doing something a little different today. Uh, starting with this first video, I am going to be doing weekly arena runs on my channel now. That way I can just have something really consistent on a weekly basis for you all to see. So this week we have Fire and Earth Season, so I'll be running a team with some of my higher merged fire units. So to start, we have Legendary Hector. He is my highest merge Legendary period. Uh, and I really just need those last two merges to get him to be perfect when he comes back uh, this next month. So we'll be running him. And then I also run my duo Corrin in the fire season. They just make my life so, so much easier. And yeah, I, I can't go without them in fire season. And then we have a plus 10 Sheeta here. Uh, I do need a better C slot on her, but for now this works pretty well. Uh, she definitely comes in clutch against some armor units. And then for our bonus unit, I <clears throat> did end up picking up an Ascended Joshua. Uh, you'll see in my free summon videos for January that I didn't get him on the free summons, but I decided to go in a bit more because he's really good to have and I wanted that floret. So we will just go ahead and start and we'll see if we can get sort of the first five wins very easily. Okay, so this team also has a Ninja Corrin at plus 10, and plus 10 Legendary Corrin, plus 10 Base Corrin. Okay, they are a fan of Corrin, I like it. And they do have the plus one Reeve. All right. So ideally we wanna get a kill for Joshua. So um, I think what I'll do. is have Hector down here, Joshua up, and we'll kind of go like that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to be honest, I'm really not the best arena player. I just kind of do whatever. Uh, so let's first check this. Okay, so yeah, Joshua, let's get the Joshua kill, because he can easily handle, handle Reeve, no problem. So that's done. Now let's see. Nice. Okay, good. Depending on legendary corn builds, honestly, she can be such a pain to deal with. Like, there are times where I am not able to get her with duo corn. But this time we're good. This time we are all good. So we'll definitely just back out of there. Uh, I'll move Hector up one. And then we'll try and get Sheeta in for a kill. So let's see here. Uh, okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think Sheeta's gonna get the kill, but we'll definitely do this. Being a high merge duo corn haver myself, when I see plus 10 duo corns, I know they're a nightmare to deal with. And we'll give another kill to Joshua. So, first, first map, not too bad. I definitely love this person's dedication to corn. Like, shout out to them. Definitely. Definitely really happy with that. So we will go ahead and move on to our next map. And eventually I'll have those rewards. So let's see here. Okay. So already we know they have Ninja Shamir, which I'm going to assume is plus 10. Yep. Bonus Joshua. They have the plus 10 Manuela. Nice. And then the plus 10 Flame Emperor. Okay. So Ninja Corrin is definitely going to be doing her thing and probably just gonna carry me on this map uh but i may be able to use legendary hector to deal with the flame emperor so let's just go ahead okay let's see okay so i have the armor merge going good now let's do that and get rid of that threat Flame Emperor is older now, but they can definitely be a problem to deal with. We'll move Hector up one, get Joshua up one, and get Sheeta here, but not breaking the block. Okay. Uh, can she? Yeah, okay. <laughs> As you can see, Fire Season, I kind of just let Duo Corrin handle a lot of it, and then just try and ensure that one of my bonus units 
can get a kill in to get that extra bit of point. So, uh, let's see. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, we'll make sure that... Okay, yeah. So they can do either or. So we'll go in with getting the Shamir done with Joshua. Uh, I hadn't seen the combat animation yet. And I really like that detailing with the sand there for Joshua. That's really nice. And that is another map done. So far, so good. I can normally get into like the first like two to three matches and feel really confident. And then it's on the like fourth or fifth match that everything <laughs> goes downhill. So let's see. All right, let's head on in. Okay, so we have the, oh, plus one Elliewood, okay. The plus 10 Ninja Hana, plus 10 Ninja Lin, and a plus 10 Aversa, very nice. Okay. So definitely Joshua will be able to deal with, I think, any of these. And the same with Ninja Corrin. And we'll just have, <laughs> she and Hector are just, they're just taking a back seat this time. It is too bad because I re they are both really good. But they're, they're just not having to be involved in the combat. Okay, um, hmm. we'll move Hector out of the way and then do this. Yes, Elise, Corrin is the coolest. God, I absolutely love them. I really hope I can get the last four merges I need on the next couple times I get a rerun. Hopefully they'll place in the top four of A Hero Rises. Okay. Mm. Okay, that will definitely do. Am I still okay? I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with Joshua dealing with Lynn. And yeah, we'll just we'll just duo corn this whole situation. Right there, and let's use that duo skill. There we go! Alright, and we'll take care of Aversa. And done. So that is three out of five matches done successfully so far. So far, so good. And let's head into the fourth match. Oh, um, <laughs> legendary Claude at plus 10. I, I'm always scared of him. We have Eliwood for a bonus, a uh, plus 9 Shamir, and a plus 10 Manuela. Okay. I will definitely use Ninja Corrin to deal with the legendary Claude uh, and just hit him out on the player phase. He's such a nightmare to deal with. This is why I, I hate Earth Season <laughs> because of him. He's a really good unit. Uh, I'll move Kata in for support. We have Joshua here. Okay. I think what we'll do, we'll move some units around there like that. Some rallying. Okay. Let's see, yeah. Let's get rid of Claude first. Because I'm scared of him so, so much. <laughs> Absolutely horrifies me. Okay. So, I think the biggest threat is dealt with. We are going to then... Actually, the Shamir is able to counter, but it's not enough to deal with Joshua. So, that's good. And then let's move some units around and we'll end our turn. Now I'm curious if, okay, well definitely let's, let's give her, let's give she some action here. Cause she deserves it. I absolutely love her so much. 
and then we can finish this off with Joshua. Very nice. I am so glad I ended up going a bit more to get him. He is really, really good. All right, so just one more match. And then we will check and see how our score is. Of course! Of course, on the final match. So we have the plus 10 Fallen Edelgard. Uh, that does have uh, Gale Force and Base Kit. And then plus 10 Duo Ephraim. Plus 10 Virion. Okay, that's really cool to see. And then Sharina for the bonus unit. Okay. So I'm gonna definitely try and deal with Edelgard as quickly as possible before she can transform. And I will have Joshua kind of go for the others. My dual corn can deal with obviously like an untransformed fallen Edelgard. Uh, and then depending on their build, you can deal with most of them. But if the build is invested really heavy into their defense and res, then it's problematic. So we'll get, I think having Hector here to kind of buff. Okay, yeah, we gotta, we gotta move quick. Uh, can we? Yes, okay, good. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of this monster here. I'm sorry, Edelgard fans. I love her too, but she gotta go. And we're gonna vamoose out. Uh, I think I'll just have Virian's bow doesn't have anything that stops me from countering. No, okay. And we'll give him a rally and we'll move Joshua in. So let's let's go. Yeah, okay. That's no problem for Hector. That's a tanky Virian though. I'm impressed. Yeah, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I, I'll do it, but that's really close. What's that? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, good. Good on them with the plus 10 uh, duo Ephraim. It's still kind of sad that, like, they only come back on, like, very special occasions or just randomly and they're not actually in the regular pool. It, it's so bizarre. And that animation for Hector is so good. All right, we'll just kind of just move everyone up here. And I think we'll give this to Hector. He deserves it. We'll get it special. Awesome. All right, that was a really clean run. Uh, I've been kind of slacking the past couple of arena seasons, so I did get knocked down to tier 18. But hopefully with that run, I'll be going back up. Yeah, that that's really good. Awesome. Well, that's really reassuring. So I'm just going to end it there then, folks. Uh, let me know down in the comments how your arena runs went this week. And if you have any suggestions maybe for my team, if there's anything to improve. So continue to take care of each other and have a great day.